Hey Shugs, welcome back to Anxiety Art Adventures. Really happy today. Got a delivery from Diamond Art Club. Uh, this one I have been waiting to get for months and months. I was put, I put myself on their email notification list. It was out of stock and I waited and waited and waited. Uh, this is Queen of Wands. Whoops. Queen of Wands by Enya Guerrero. Uh, yes, yes. Um, I love Enya Guerrero's artwork. However, 99% of the diamond painting kits on Diamond Art Club from this artist are in square drills. Um, most of you know I am not a huge fan of square drills. Um, I'll do them if I absolutely have to do them, but I really prefer round. And this is, I think, one of two kits of Enya's Guerrero's that are round drills. So really happy, finally got it. So let's do this. How many of you have this kit? Let me know in the comments below if you've worked on it. What were your thoughts? Did it turn out well? All that good stuff. Okay, this is your tool kit. I'm not gonna open the tool kit just because gone through a toolkit many times before. Everything you need to diamond paint is in this toolkit. Um, you get everything in here you need, like I said. Uh, applicator, comfort grip, heart-shaped wax container, craft tray, tray stopper, multi-placers, cover minder, washi tape, and Ziploc baggies. The only difference between this toolkit and one that comes in a square diamond painting kit are tweezers. So. Yes, everything you need is in that kit. Okay. Yay. So excited. So excited. I've been waiting for this one for so long. So long. Oh. That was my face. Sorry. <laughs> okay. This is Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands. Look at that. Lovely artwork. Ooh, love it. That's your logbook sticker. Okay. Probably will not be able to get all of this in the camera. Holy cow. Look at that face, y'all. Look at that face. Oh my gosh. Okay, these are your drills. We'll go over that in a minute. All right, this is your inventory sheet, and it is a sticker. Look at that, Queen of Wands. Uh, this is a 56 by 74 centimeter round drill cut. It has 41 colors, and it has a specialty drill. Um, that Y104, number 41, that is a specialty uh, drill, and we're gonna go over that in a minute. But all of these are individual stickers, so you can peel each one off, you know, individually. Put them on your containers, you know, on your baggies, whatever you want to do. Oh, I just, I love her face. She has like this evil doll-like quality to her. <laughs> Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Okay. All right. So let's look at the canvas. So that's the top. Sorry for the glare. Show you, that's her mask. And then you've got her, this is part of her dress. Oh my gosh, absolutely love this. Love this. All right, we're gonna keep it on her face and the mask right now. Okay, you've got a inventory, uh, like a key code over here on the left side as well as on the bottom right side. Show that to you. So you've got your key code over here with your symbols. Come on, camera. With your symbols and your DMC code next to them. And same in the bottom right. Uh, the bottom left, you've got um, the title, Queen of Wands, the size, and then the artist. Yes. All right. We are going to look at the drill field. 
very clear. I really want to see her eyes in the drill field. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Love it. Okay, now, this has one AB and then a specialty drill. Now, if you can see, this right here, the Y104, that's a pearl, like a larger pearl specialty drill. Um, and I'm gonna show you where those go. And then the one AB is right there. It's a white AB right here. All right, so specialty drill. All right, I'm gonna try to zoom this in and see what happens. Okay, up in her hat, there are these round circles here. See. see where it says 04? That is where those specialty drills go. Isn't that going to be awesome? It's going to look really good. Really good. Um, that's the only place I think they go from what I saw. Yep. They're just in the, the hat up there, if you guys can see that. Where it says 04. Sorry if you hear background noises. People are doing yard work back there. <laughs> okay, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Look at that face. Look at that face. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna zoom you back out. All right, I'm gonna do a sticky test. Yeah, that's sticky, show. That's sticky. And I've really gotten into, uh, while I've been working on my TSA canvas for TSA Knockout 2022, I'm really getting into sectioning off um, the canvas with washi tape. I used to use um, double-sided uh, parchment paper and that worked really well for me and I, I still would do that now. Um, but I'm, I'm using washi tape and then just using um, a ceramic cutter. This is one my friend Travis gave me. And just cutting out, you know, sections at a time um, it works really well so again sorry for the it sounds like a chainsaw out there but anyway yes so all right so i showed you where those go um, i'm not going to open the drills just because i'll never be able to get them back in there and i don't know when i'm going to be able to work on this i have no idea would like to work on it soon but lots of events and all of that going on so yeah, anyway, um, yeah, and this of course has, um, also has scalloped edges, so that prevents fraying down at the bottom. I've never had a Diamond Art Club kit fray. Um, I've also never had a Diamond Art Club kit have any drills come off of it. I've never had to seal them, anything like that, so um, that's a plus. These are definitely, you know, high quality kits. Um, they are, you know, a little on the pricey side, but in my opinion, you pay for what you get. Of course, they're all licensed artwork and um, really clear, you know, quality and really close to the artwork, as close as you can get with, you know, diamond painting, because this is hand charted. Um, so they try to match the colors as best they can um, with the original artwork. So again... Oh, I just, I love it. I've, I've changed my taste recently to like fantasy evil artwork. <laughs> um, I really like the, the evil dark looking, you know, kits that have some mystery to them, um, that are just different and unique. Um, I used to be into like the cutesy ones. And then, you know, I say over the last year, I've changed my taste to uh, more artwork like this, more of the fantasy style. So yeah, so let me know how many of you have this kit or if you have any kits from Amy's Guerrero, if you've worked on them, what were your thoughts? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, if you have any questions, concerns, please list those as well. Please hit that like button and subscribe on your way out. Greatly appreciate it. And I want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for your support. It means the world to me. I do have channel member uh, options. So if that's something that you're interested in, check that out. Uh, yes. So that is it. Queen of Wands from Diamond Art Club. 
Um, I hope all of you have a wonderful rest of your week and start to your weekend. And I will see you again very soon. Bye guys.